Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have the third week of Advent. It's a candle of joy. And our prayer is, O King of David, Jesus Christ, come and sh the gates of heaven open at your command. Come and show us the way to salvation. Oh, mess that one up. Good thing I don't mess that up when I'm praying it before I eat. <laughs> I guess God knows, you know? So, all right. This week we have a lot going on, but not really. I'm just super proud of myself, which I know pride is a vain thing, so I'm trying not to be proud of myself. But yeah. Okay, so let's go right off the hook. So the first thing is that it's done. It's done. The purple sweater that I made for myself is done. It fits. I love it. Um I uh, already wore it to work once, and I'm very happy with it. So, yes. Then, since I got it done, I decided, hmm, there's a lot of yarn left over. So, I made a headband and fingerless mitts. Now, these are super simple to make. People are like, fingerless mitts? They're so hard. They're not. So, I made purple fingerless mitts um, so I can wear this and these together. I don't necessarily have to wear them with a sweater, but I can if I want because they all match. Um, so, yeah, I have this set all complete and done. Yay! Right? I said I was going to do that last winter. Didn't happen, did it? Well, then I sat down. And decided that I wanted to get everything off the hooks and out of the bags and just kind of clean out my crochet. And I decided that, oops, alarm. Um, I decided there was nothing I really wanted to frog. So there's nothing that has gotten me, you know, um, sometimes you get through a project and you just go, huh, I don't know what I was thinking with that. But. I didn't have any that I wanted to frog, so I decided I'm going to complete them all. Um, and here, I've got this one inside out. Okay, so the little shoulder um, shrug, I guess you'd call it, I don't know. Um, I'm using it for work. It's got the dark Christmas or fall side, and it's got the peachy spring side. Um, and guess what? It's done. I even managed to put a little scalloped edge on it. Yep. So, um, I do like the idea of this one, and I might try and make it bigger with a worsted, very loose for a poncho. Um, so, yeah, I got those. All of those are done. Okay. So, I did that. And look here, all of my project bags are empty. Empty, empty, empty. One, two, this isn't all of my project bags, but all the project bags that I had in the thing are empty. Okay, so I cleaned out my basket and I still have the, and I'm honestly thinking I'm done. I just don't know where I want to go with it, but I don't know if it's big enough. So, this is the second to last one that I have to finish. And it's just a little doily thing for my... I don't know if I want to make it a little bit bigger or not. So, I don't like the glass clanking on glass. But I may just continue this, this repeat over and over. Um until it gets big enough for the, um, and I still have quite a bit of yarn. This hasn't even been opened, and I've got that little bit, for the uh, cake uh, platter, which is what I was making it for. But I still have that going on, and I probably, even if I need to make it larger, I probably don't have any more than five rounds left to do on this. So, um, last night I just didn't take the time to go and measure, and I was like, ooh, this could be the end, but yeah. So, I definitely want that to go on that platter. I just 
and I want it to go up underneath the edge, but I don't know if I want it to come over the edge because there's a little bit of a lip. So I don't know if I want it to come out the lip and then the dome sit on top. I don't know how dorky it would look. Let's put it that way. But I don't like the glass on glass. Every time you pick it up, it clanks, you know, and, and so that is the plan for that. So, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, the last thing I have is a bunch of little squares. Yes, I'm back to working on the round the world. And again, I haven't decided how big I'm going to make it. So I haven't gotten, with all the stuff that I've gotten done, I only had one evening that I picked this up. And I have the one row on. And I think I had that on um, the last time I showed it to you. And I've just been throwing these in here. Um, I've got the two blue ones for the uh, corners. And I'm supposed to have 13 for each row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Exactly. Ooh, so I've got 13 of these. So I can do another row of this. I plan on working on this. Once I get the pink on, unfortunately, I don't have enough to do the blue row. So I'm going to make a decision on whether I want to go and buy more yarn um, or take the blue out and do just some other rows. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But this is also the good size of a baby blanket. So not that I know anyone having a baby, but I now work, you know, in an office and I should probably always have one on hand just because you never know if that makes sense so yeah I, I'm thinking that it's going to be a throw I don't want to go out buy more yarn I have a huge tote full of yarn none of it will work for that but I don't want to go buy any more yarn um, speaking of buying more yarn I would show you but I have one other uh, off the hook thing and that is I made another one of those teal headbands that I made like last week, but this was for the office Christmas party. I have to have a, a uh, $10 gift and I, uh, okay. So I cheated. I don't have any money in it. Really. I made the two that were requests for a mommy and me thing, the toddler and adult one. The lady paid me for that yarn and I kept the extra yarn. Um, I just incorporated the price into her uh, cost. So, um, anyway, I made that, and technically it was free. It's just my time. And then when I was shopping and I went to get uh, some things from Sally's, I don't know, it was back in November. It might have been the end of October. They gave me a black lunchbox. And it's a drawstring bag and it's insulated and it's pretty nice. Um, but I have no call for it. So it's going to be that and the headband. They're both wrapped in brown paper and then put in a bag. And that's going to be my Christmas gift for the Christmas party. So there is that. I do have quite a lot done. I've still got the two things that I'm going to work on. Then... I got my new kit. Yes. So this is one of the things that inspired me to get the other things off the hook. I understand. I don't think that I won't have more as the year goes. But I, I just, I wanted to start this year, as every year, with a clean slate in the crochet department. So, this is called Gemstone. It's a red heart, 100% acrylic. It's called Gemstone. It's in the colorway of Jasper. It is 312 yards. And it takes a J or a 10 hook, which is 6 millimeter. It's not rough on your skin. 
I don't know how to explain it. It's not soft. It's almost like a cord. It, it's not scratchy, not anything. So it almost has that consistency of a cotton type, a, a whiter cotton type yarn. So, um, like I said, not scratchy, not too bad next to face. I mean, it's pretty nice. So, and it's got all kinds of yellows and greens and reds. And you can see there it's kind of a little of everything with a, with a black base. So, um, I actually kind of like it. The greens in that are a little bit brighter than I normally, but I think the black tones it down. So, in the kit, it is for this, which I love. I don't know why, but I just do. And then it's got a pattern for some mitts, which I have never crocheted mitts. I don't know why. Don't know what my problem is, but I have never crocheted mittens. So I'm thinking I'm going to try this. Um, it'll depend on the pattern. You know, uh, I'm actually going to try and follow the pattern because in my mind, I can't split the thumb hole. So if the thumb hole was a separate part, I know how to make it. But if the thumb hole is with one, because you start here and you go round and round and round and round. Then when you get down here, round and round and round and round and then round. I'm not sure. So I'm really not sure how it works, but I'm going to figure it out. Um, but like I said, in my world, I dissect everything in bits and pieces. So a mitten would go round, leave the slit like I did in my fingerless, and then go round and round and round and round. But I will tell you, I've also never made gloves for the same reason, because I don't want all the seams around here. And that's the only way that I know to do them. So, yeah. All right. So there are a few other little things that have been, gone on this week. Um, obviously, I have been hard at it. We are ready for Christmas. Um, I, except for the grocery shopping. I do have to do that. I didn't do this week's grocery shopping today or yesterday. I was supposed to, but I didn't. Um, but I got um, a bunch of Bible bags that I had made, I don't know, months ago. And those are going to be my gifts for those at work that I feel I need to. And then there's one lady who I have my hand-blown eggs in a glass. It's just a glass bowl with my hand-blown eggs. And they're all decorated. Um, they don't have the string ties on them, though. And so one of the ladies at work, Julie... She loves eggs. Um, I like them for natural reasons, and I just, I don't know, I just like them. So she always admires them and says that if they ever disappear, I need to go to her office to find them. So for Christmas, she's been helping me with some, um, a bunch of computer errors and stuff in one of our programs. So I made this one, and I put the hanger on it with the bead. And there's that, and it's got a smaller one over there. Um, and I did it with blue. And it is all nice and sprayed. Uh, RJ actually helped me with this. He was by, I'll tell you by, about that here in a little bit. He stabbed me. And if you know RJ at all, you know that I'm not kidding. It was an accident, but he stabbed me. So... I do have this, and I did, um, I had some Scooby bags, and I wanted her to have something soft um, to wrap it in, some kind of, you know, and so, yeah, just a way to wrap it up and keep it safe, so there's that. I think I'm going to put a cam snap on it before I send it with her, like I did RJ's, um, that way at least it's got, you know could use the bag for something else if she chose to pack it differently. So, but anyway, the egg ornament is for Julie because she loves eggs. And she's always trying to steal mine. So, there's that one. 
uh, I made the, I did a bunch of plant dividing for my um, work. I have plants up at work and they just, the one has gotten out of control. So I put it in a bigger pot and sent it with uh, another gentleman there at work. He wanted one and I said, here, take this huge one. I put a little one back out there and it looks much better. Um, I hadn't realized that it was about at least three to four times bigger than the others and it took up a big spot. So yeah, we, we definitely needed to get that replaced with a smaller one. So I did. Um, I brought home some others that I, I thought there was three plants in there. And when I divided them all out, there was actually eight. So I have an, one in here. One that I'm sharing with a friend at work who's, she's on vacation. She's just going to come and find it. And then, um, the, uh, one planter that I have, I thinned it out, put just six across. And it looks much better. It will fill out and be nice. So I did all of that. Um, what else did I do this week? I did. So, the other thing is, is we've had several um, questions uh, about how Hitch is doing. Just to reassure everyone, I took a little clip when I was in um, where his favorite bed is. He picked his spot, so he has his little bed in there. He's got his fuzzy blanket in there, and um, I just kind of stood back. and He ended up coming to me. But you'll see, it's just a little clip to show you he really is fine. And I'll put that in right here. Hitchy boy. Yeah. Are you liking your soft blankie? Mm hmm. Keep you warm. All right. You saying hello to all your fans? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're a good boy. Okay, so as you can see, he gets around fine. He's fine just every once in a while. And we don't know when they're going to happen or how often they happen. But we'll see. Um, we've been watching him pretty close now. So unless he's had one while we're asleep and we don't know, that would be the only thing. <sighs> or if we we're at work. I mean, if we're not around, there's nothing we can do. Um, but if he's had any in front of us, you know, which he hasn't, he's over. He's going to get him something to eat. But anyway, he's doing really well. Randall is doing good. If Randall is outside, he packs his leg up. Remember, he's got that open wound. It's not open. It's scabbed over and it looks really clean. There's no heat to it. No anything. Um, he, uh packs it. But when he's in the house, RJ makes him stay with him now so that, um, and he doesn't leave him out overnight anymore. Um, Odie is there and Odie stays out at night and keeps everything run off. Keeps the chickens safe. Um, but Randall stays inside and he says when he's inside, he walks on it very lightly, you know, and he limps, but he does use it. But when he is outside, he packs it everywhere. He gets around really good on three legs and RJ says he'll just kind of take off. And, yeah. So the dogs are doing good. Um, the other thing that happened is it rained. No, I mean like a lot of rain. So the pond is full. And I mean where we have cleaned everything out. There are leaves on the top and it looks like there's some sticks because when it was raining, it was storming. It looks like some sticks have fallen kind of back in, but, um, it, and that's why we were cleaning it out is those trees around it just keep, uh, trashing my pond. <laughs> it, they just keep dropping, uh, sticks and branches. And so I figure I'll go out there with the rake in the spring and whatever I can see and get to, I will, but I did go down there. Baby duck looked so big on that pond when it was drying up. Now he looks so little since that pond has filled up. So I did take a little video of it and I will pop that in right here.
Good morning. So we had a big rain last night and it filled the pond. So I know you guys have watched us clean it out. Here's the big pile of stuff. But now the pond is like, yeah, overflowing. It was a big rain. This is the tree that we took down that I could actually walk on the other side of now. And yeah, I can't now. Um, it is has a lot of leaves in it from the rain, but I am sure they will disintegrate away. And I am out here to feed Baby Duck, who is over there swimming. He likes his big pond. He can't touch the bottom anymore. <laughs> it got really low. So anyway, I just thought you guys would want to see it all done. I can't wait to see it in the spring. Um, it will be amazing. Okay, so as you can see, the pond is overflowing. <laughs> It uh, filled up. We had, I mean, good downpour about five in the morning on Saturday morning. Um, then when I got up to go and do the duck, I was like, holy cow, my feet got soaked. I didn't put on my rubber boots because we had had soaking rains, but I didn't think it was enough to get us out of drought conditions. Apparently it is. So, yeah. It was overflowing, so I have to put on my uh, rubber boots now to go down there, unfortunately. It's just kind of one of those deals because I wore my Crocs and my pants. The bottom of my pants got soaked. My feet were freezing. It was horrible. Not really. So, all right. I think that is about everything I have except for the story of, about RJ's antics. He stabbed me. So he was here on Saturday. He brought down some firewood for us. Um, we just have to split it. It was a big log that he didn't want to split and he was cutting firewood. He has um, our chainsaws and all that stuff and gas. And anyway, he's been cutting firewood for both houses and I have been paying him. It helps him with the bills. He's run into a few snags. Um, his, uh, working there at the uh, stockyards or sale barn, whatever you all want to call them. He's working there twice a week and it's doing okay for him. It offsets his cost of his roping and he likes that. The problem is, is that Thanksgiving week, they did not work. So he no work, no pay. And coming up, um, the week before Christmas, the week after Christmas, no work. So I have been, um, hiring him to come out and help us. And every time he brings me a load of firewood, you know, we do that. You know, I took him grocery shopping so he doesn't have that expense. Um, he's doing okay. He says, mom, the bills are paid, but I'm not ahead on anything. So during the summer, when he wins money, he pays the vehicles ahead and he pays the trucks ahead and he pays the bills ahead. Um, the only one that ever gives him a little bit of a fit is a feed bill. And that's because it is pretty expensive right now. and it always has been. So anyway, he, uh, is doing okay, but he come down here and he's dropping a load of wood Friday to get it off the back of his truck. And he's getting paid because him and Macy have to go or have. They went Saturday and had a day together of Christmas shopping and just fun. And they had a blast. Um, RJ, he said, Mom, she was happy and having fun. You know, her and I did it. And then she decided that she kind of liked going out and just looking at the shops and doing the stuff. She never really took time to go shopping. If she had to go have a shirt. She went to Atwoods or the farm store or whatever and got the style shirt. They went to some consignment shops. They went to this little thing of Western stores and she had a blast. So he was happy with that. But anyway, Friday he was down and that's one of the reasons he needed to get paid. And, uh, I was working on the egg. Okay. And I was struggling to get the, uh, my needle, because I used a duck egg instead of a, a chicken egg, my needle wouldn't go all the way through with the ribbon. So I was trying to figure out a way. I ended up with a little piece of wire. It was roommate's idea. 
So we found wire and we twisted it over and pulled it through. Anyway, um, when we were messing around, I had the egg in my hand at one point and he startled me. I said, don't you do that. I spent all this time. This is for Julie for Christmas. Please don't make me redo this. Anyway, so he, he did that. And then um, when I couldn't get the, the ribbon to go through, I was like, dang it. And he goes, here, I'll just, and he was going to act like he was going to poke the egg with the needle that I had. Well, the problem is, is that I reached across as he's going like this and I ended up being punctured. It's just a little dot. You can, I don't even think you can see it to be honest with you. It's like right there. Yeah. So anyway, he stabbed me. So then I start giggling. Roommate is going like, oh my God, that just happened. And RJ's face is priceless because he's like, I was going to hit the egg. I was going to hit the egg. And I'm just dying left. And I was like, oh my God. I looked at him and I said, son, really? You stabbed your mother. So that was the whole thing is it Friday night. He ate with us and, you know, he always comes down and eats a meal and, and he doesn't ever really rush off. Um, I think he kind of likes hanging out down here a little bit. Uh, he gets to get warm, you know, central heat and air. We've got the fireplace going all the time when it's cold, but, and that keeps our electric bill down. But I think he just likes the warmth of it. There's always food. We're always laughing and carrying on. He just, yeah. So, um, oh. sorry, the rest of the night, um, every time he'd do something, I'd say, hey, you stabbed your mother. <laughs> he just, he was like, I didn't mean to. So it was hilarious. It was an accident, but yes, he stabbed me with an, a very sharp uh, needle. And so it is what it is. Um, but we had that fun Friday. And like I said, I've been working on all this stuff, trying to get it done. This one should be done next week. The blanket, if I decide to keep it a baby blanket, it'll be done next week. Now I am going to put this out here and I know I'm saying this a little bit early the week between Christmas and new year's, there will be no podcast. Um, from Christmas to New Year's, I'm going to take a week. I'm going to reorganize. And hopefully, um, I know y'all have not seen me. I haven't done really any sewing. And I take that back. I did roommate had me put zippers in the work jackets that roommate uses. So um, I did do that. Little things. Mended did a few mending items, but the pink dress, I have stopped. I've got a better idea for it. I am revamping it, but that's going to start the first of the year. And then I'm going to do sewing where, where I'm at on my sewing and other things. And then just the crochet. So I will see how that goes, but I am taking one week. Oh, sorry. I'm taking one week figure out how I want to do this. Okay. Um, it just a breather. And of course, hopefully next week I can come back and tell y'all all my projects are done. And if that happens, I will be working on this. So I'll let you know how that goes. But, uh, yeah, just trying to get, a fresh start, a clean start with the new year. And last year I tried it and bombed. This year I'm coming a lot closer. So anyway, I'm going to get off here. I will see y'all next time, next week. And, uh, oh, now I get to go clean up after the dog. Worm, uh-uh, worm. Worm just got sick. So now you know what I'm going to be doing. Wormy worm. You want to say hi to the camera? <laughs> yes, worm is getting big. Don't lick me with that mouth. You just threw up. Yes. Don't, don't lick me with that mouth. So, but he is, he's getting huge. Anyway, so there's worm. Yep. Him and his one ear. His one ear. His one ear. Yes. Oh, and there's it coming out of the bed. So, all right. I'm off here. I will see you guys 
next time. Remember, just this week, then a break, and then we'll be back first of the year. So, have a great week. Dogs are hitting the camera. <laughs> Bye.